so she she went to the back and searched for a bag and, and brought it out and it was a, a 1941 bag to match the 1941 bag. Hello and welcome back to Classics with a Quirk where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. I just wanted to film this video because I recently was at my coach outlet and I do not go to this outlet very often because it is a bit of a drive for me. However, I saw that actually on the coach outlet website, Coach Reserve had just been updated with a bunch of options and kind of wanted to see, uh, heard on the purse forum that their outlets were getting actually some stock in, wanted to just check it out and see. A little bit of backstory actually is that I had been looking for a new coach bag. I had kind of gotten the idea that I was interested in getting a Coach 1941 piece. Uh, I did recently film a video about a uh, TJ Maxx like haul of a couple of Coach items, so I will link that so you can watch that one as well. But this uh, piece that I was looking for, I wanted a 1941 item. Uh, I was looking primarily at the robes because I've heard great things about the robes. And I was kind of debating between a 25 and a 30 25 would be a really good everyday carry, but the 30 would be able to carry my laptop. Not that I need to slip my laptop along with me everywhere, but I like to be prepared, especially since I do a lot of work on my... Why am I saying laptop? iPad. I meant iPad that entire time. But I was pretty set on wanting a Rogue, and I had been looking at a lot of resale websites. So I was looking at eBay, I was looking at Poshmark, I was even looking at Tradesy and kind of looking at different colors and styles. I really like the oxblood. I really like the dark denim and was really debating on the, the size as well as I've just previously said. Anyway, I went to my outlet, not really expecting much, just kind of wanting to see what they had and boy, wow, they had a lot. I regret not having taken pictures now because pictures are always good, but they had a bunch of different swaggers. They had a beautiful Oxblood swagger that I did try on because I love Oxblood. I had liked the swagger design a lot, but it ended up being a little bit too long for my shape, I felt. They had um, a bunch of different uh, robes too. They had a bunch of 25s, a bunch of 30s, a lot of metallics, some snake skin detail ones. So if you're interested in, in retail items at the outlet, like it was a good time to go. But there was one item actually in particular, and it was one of the first items that I saw. I walked into the store, I was the first one there. I, When I go shopping now, if I go shopping at a, a store, I go as they open. Like, I'm there as early as possible, so the least amount of humans are there, and I go in and I do what I want and look at the things and then I leave. So I was there at like 11 when they opened up, and I was actually the first person inside the store. Like, they had just opened and there was like a bunch of the staff like milling around the entrance of the store and I came and I'm like they all like descended on me like hi I'm your first person aren't I and they're like yeah because uh it was empty which was nice I'm getting around the story which is I went to the I asked where the retail section was and I kind of remembered that they had moved things around so I went to the retail section and the very first thing I saw um was this and as you can tell by the fact that I'm holding a bag from the coach outlet, I did purchase the very first thing that I saw. And I have already done quite a lot of chatting in this video, so I'm just going to get along with the unbagging. It did not come with the box. Outlet stuff does not. So it just, uh, it came like this. Actually, it was on the shelf and I looked inside and it didn't come, it didn't have a dust bag in it. So I asked the staff and the, the um, sales associate was very pleasant. We got along really well. She actually, this was really nice. She included some of the coach like uh, hand cream in just for complimentary. She just like, here you go and put it in the bag with me. And I'm like, oh, that was really, that was really cool of you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So I, I asked, she asked, so she, she went to the back and searched for a bag and, and brought it out and it was a, a 1941 bag to match the 1941 bag. Moving on. So again, it is this giant bag. Um, and as I did previously mention, I had been looking at uh, rogues specifically and this 
is also kind of a giant dust bag. You can tell that this is a large piece. I had been talking about a Rogue. It is a Rogue 30, and this is the coolest part. Like, what were the colors that I had been talking about, huh? What did I mention I was looking at specifically? Can you see? See those handles? Let's try to do it on this side, get a better unveiling. Handle one, handle two. Oh my gosh, don't stick. No, this was so smooth. Okay, wait. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, look at it. This is a second generation, as you can tell by the hang tag that is also accompanied by the clochette, Rogue 30 in the dark denim. <laughs> Which was exactly the color and bag that I wanted, basically. So, okay, that was really, really cool. I was... You have no idea, like, I saw it and I didn't believe it. I was like, what? Like, I zeroed in on it. I'm like, that, that can't, no, it cannot be. It, but it was. Um, yeah, so, wow. I'm going to do a more in-depth uh, going over of the bag review, I guess, of the bag, like, the details in another video. This was just the reveal. Um but it is in pretty good shape. It's quite smushy and there's a little bit of an outline from where the straps were um, storing. Oh, uh, if you don't know, oh, by the way, look at this lining. Isn't this lining amazing? If you don't know, the robes come with these little shoulder straps that you can also use to carry it. So that is really cool. I like that it's a, it's a kind of a shoulder bag that you can make more of a tote type bag. Um, and again, I'm going to make a video with all the details. If you're interested, stay tuned, subscribe for more videos of that persuasion. But in terms of the bag itself, that was actually 60% off, which is pretty dang good for retail pieces. Sometimes they go up to 70% off or you get like a 70 plus 20 deal, which is fantastic. But 60% off was not bad for a piece that is normally $800. So I was not complaining. Uh, the only thing about it, as I did say, that you've got this, like, indent here, which I think will wear away, and it's so squishy that it's not going to matter to me much anyway. There was a little bit of wear on the bottom, but after some conditioning and cleaning by the, the coach sales assistant, uh, it, it was mostly uh, taken care of, so I'm not too worried about that, and I can always clean and condition the bag myself. I do that for all of my vintage ones, too. Um, the only other thing was, let me see, yeah. So there is some scratches and wear on the zipper. If I can figure out how to show it to you. Uh, probably not, but okay. You know what, let's try this one more time. Tuck the handles and straps into the bag so we don't have everything dangling all over the place. All right, here we go. Okay, yeah, so you see those like metal like those scratches on the the metal here they're there um and they're pretty large so they're noticeable i don't mind them but it is something to be aware of when you buy a retail piece from an outlet it might have been a return it might have been something that's been sitting on the shelf for who knows how long i mean this is a second generation robe the robe was discontinued in 2018 and this is a second gen so this is probably like a 2017 bag which means that this bag is at least three years old which you know it makes sense that it's going to have some wear and I don't mind that again for the price that I paid I I don't mind the that there's a little bit of wear on it honestly I saw somebody recently make a really awesome comment this was on uh, a youtuber that I, I follow the real Shaquin I think uh, I might be saying the name wrong, but um, she's a, a luxury YouTuber. She's really, really well polished and presentable, so I would suggest watching her. And she had a follower of hers on Instagram, the Dear Rentist, I believe. Uh, I, I hope that I'm getting that right. Who said basically that if you look for flaws in a bag, that means that you don't want it. If you want the item, or not just bag, any item, like you will look past the small flaws. And that was kind of what this was for me. Now, if I'm buying a very expensive item, especially a big, big ticket item, yes, I do look for um, flaws. I want it to be as nice quality as possible. I want it to be in as 
good shape as possible. I don't want a broken or ruined piece, obviously, nobody does. But in terms of like a, a piece like this, which was on sale, first of all, um, for a very good deal, honestly, uh, this was a better price than anything I found on online resale. So this already has value to me just for the fact that I got such a good deal on it. And in terms of the wear, it's wear that is understandable for kind of the condition or like where it came from, like three years old, sitting on a shelf in a factory somewhere, possibly a return, who knows. And on top of that, I really, really like the item and it's kind of hard to get. If this was a $3,000 bag, would I be more concerned about the scratches on the zipper? Yes, definitely. But for 300 ish, um, I'm not as concerned. I'm sure you understand. And I looked at the flaws and was able to look past them. Actually, on that same note, kind of a funny story, but a while back, I, for one of my first Chanel purchases, purchased a Chanel black wop in the camellia print. And it was a beautiful piece. Uh, but I was kind of like, as soon as I bought it, I was conflicted over it. And I, came home and I just like tried it on and, and looked at it and I examined it so carefully um, and I ended up finding uh, a very a, a bit of wear on the bottom where some of the pebbles had actually scratched off and I found a pop stitch and I probably wouldn't have noticed that as as soon as I had it I hadn't been like so thoroughly expecting it because the pop stitch especially was on the bottom and it was hard to see but I noticed that the thread was loose and you know a, a wok is a $2,500 bag and I had liked it obviously enough to purchase it and I really wanted it but I couldn't stop thinking about the flaw of the pop stitch and the scratched pebbles and that kept bothering me and bothering me and bothering me and finally I kind of like you know as the dear rent has said if I looked at the flaw, you know, so much, that's what I focus on. I'm not going to be happy with the item, especially at that price point. So I did return it. And I'm sure the, the sales associate, uh, who was not my essay, was not very happy with me. And I'm, I'm sorry, but it was a, you know, a damaged, flawed piece at a very expensive price point. And in the same vein, when I, I found this and I brought it out to look at the sales associate, I pointed out the wear on the bottom. She said, oh, let's see if we can fix that. And she brought out the conditioning and cleaning supplies and wiped it down and cleaned it off. And it didn't completely get rid of it, but it did help a lot. And then she said like, oh, well, I'm sorry, I understand. And even just that attitude made it very different. You know, she wasn't pushing it. She did suggest that I get it just because like, how often are you going to get this color, a th you know, a second gen rogue? Uh, not very often, especially in dark denim. Like I knew it would be snapped up if I didn't purchase it. So I did get it. I don't regret it. And it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. I'm going to insert a couple of mod shots of what it looks like on my body. Just some pictures. I'm new to mod shots, so I hope that this works out okay. <laughs> and that it makes sense uh, for your information again this is the 30 the 30 or 31 uh, rogue and I am 57 and approximately a hundred and thirty pounds I think something like that uh, it's so pretty look at that Wow I've done a lot of unboxings with blue things on my channel I really like blue that was okay. So I thought this was going to be a quick video. Apparently not. I talk chatty video. Hope that was okay. If you like this video, please do give it a like. If there's something that you would like to say, have you ever found something really cool in an outlet or is there something that you're, you have your eye on? Please let me know. I'd love to have a discussion in the comments. I'm really looking to build a community and I'd appreciate your voice. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.